Hey guys, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So, this has been a PSA, let me tell you. Y'all gotta stop being basic AF on Hinge. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I typically post content about what it's like to live here in San Francisco and then I also like to talk about being single, navigating the dating world about once a month. So if that appeals to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. So without further ado, let's talk about why you need to stop being basic on Hinge and how you you can stop. So I wanted to just kind of talk about how people are terribly answering prompts on Hinge, which is what inspired me to do this video. Let's talk about the first atrocious thing that I am so tired of seeing on dating apps. Both men and women are guilty of doing this. So you know how there's a prompt that says, I know the best spot in town for you want to know what every single person in the world puts? Tacos, avocado toast, brunch, margs. Look, I love tacos and margaritas as much as the next gal. In fact, you can call me the margarita hoe. I am so freaking tired of seeing tacos, avocado toast, and brunch all over every single dating app. Most people like getting brunch. Most people enjoy these kinds of foods. And it doesn't make you sound unique when you like the same goddamn thing that everybody else likes. It's perfectly normal to get brunch, so let's stop talking about it. Instead of saying, I know the best spot in town for tacos, brunch, whatever, maybe say like, I know the best spot in town to find an amazing sunset, or I know the best spot in town to go on a hike. Those are great answers for that prompt. So please just stop mentioning tacos because your girl is over it. So this prompt, this is one that dudes are very guilty of doing and I'm about to call y'all out on this one. So there are three different prompts where people will answer this the exact same way. The first one is, all I ask is, or I best get along with people who, and another one is I want someone who. You wanna know what they all answer to one of these three prompts? You don't take yourself too seriously. Oh my God. I am so tired of men saying this on dating apps. It does not make you sound unique and what the f does that even mean? You don't take yourself too seriously. What do you mean by this when you say that? Are you saying you don't want someone who's uptight? Are you saying you want someone who's carefree? Are you saying you really don't want someone who's serious at all? Because God forbid that I take my life seriously. God forbid that I take my goals, hopes, ambitions, and dreams seriously. God forbid that I take my health seriously. God forbid that I take my friendships seriously. So what the f do you even mean when you say you don't take yourself too seriously? It's just stupid and it's cliche and it makes me want to vomit. I don't know if women are doing this, but I sure as hell know you men are super guilty of this one. So all I ask is that you change your answer to something else or actually say what you mean. Instead of saying you don't take yourself too seriously and sounding cliche AF, Say what you actually mean, and that will make you look like a better communicator. I instantly swipe left the second I see this on a Hinge profile because it's overdone, it's cliche, and it kind of gives me the impression that you're not taking dating seriously and that you're a poor communicator. I hope that really helped you. Let's go on to the next one. So this next prompt, both men and women are very, very guilty of answering this one. The prompt is, where can you find me at the party? With a dog. Or if you just mention dogs anywhere on your profile, both men and women will not shut the f up about dogs. I am so tired of seeing people mention dogs all the time on Hinge. Don't get me wrong, I love, 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 love dogs. In fact, I actually say hi to every single dog on the street because I'm that embarrassing of a human being. I'm like, hi puppy! I'm so tired of seeing people talk about how much they love dogs. Most people like dogs. It doesn't make you sound unique at all when you say how much you love dogs. You're gonna take a picture with you and a dog and that dog better be your dog. Do not take a picture with your friend's dog because then you're just gonna disappoint the person who's expecting to see the dog that was in your profile. 
So keep that in mind. You don't want to leave people on with you pretending that you own a dog. That's certainly not cool. But just constantly talking about how much you love dogs is really overdone and I'm tired of it. And I'm sure I am not the only person that feels this way. Don't get me wrong, I love the little pups. I do, I really do, but I am so tired of seeing it on dating apps. <sighs> the men of San Francisco will not shut the f up about this. I don't know if women are talking about this on dating apps. I'm sure they are. Any kind of mention of travel. So here's the thing. Traveling does not make you unique. Everybody likes to travel. Everybody wants to travel somewhere. I would love to travel more, but I'm too poor to travel. Before COVID happened, there were so many countries that I wanted to go to, but I just simply don't have the money for it. And I feel like I get judged for not having cool travel pics on my Hinge bio, and that's not fair just because I can't afford it. I'm not a rich tech bro who makes a six-figure salary and wants to spend all of their income on going to different countries. There's nothing wrong with that, of course. I think it's really unfair to judge people for something like that. Anyway. The point that I'm trying to make is traveling does not make you sound unique at all because everybody likes doing this, everybody wants to do this. What I would rather see is you actually maybe take pictures of you at specific cool places and then use the captions to talk about what you did there. But for you to just be generic and say, oh, I love to travel or I won't shut up about traveling or just something really generic and lame like that, it's not gonna make you stand out. There's a prompt that says, the best travel story that I have, but actually be unique and creative. Don't say something lame saying my friend got arrested. No offense, but that's not an impressive story. I don't care about your friend getting arrested because it's not about you. I want you to be a little bit more unique if you're going to talk about traveling and only talk about traveling once. Don't make your whole entire bio about travel because I'm gonna get so bored. And I'm also going to assume that you travel way too much that you're actually not looking to get into something serious because you want to be a free-spirited bird and go all over the place and not settle down with women and I sure as hell know that you're not gonna take the person that you're wanting to date to all these countries because you want to do all the solo traveling honestly you saying that you travel a lot will scare people away because they're worried that you're not gonna make any time for them and another thing when it comes to pictures I swear to god if I see one more picture of you at Machu Picchu, I'ma lose my goddamn mind. Stop using basic travel pictures. Oh my God, like Machu Picchu, I get it, it's beautiful, it's cool. I don't think you realize every single person is posting their self at Machu Picchu on Hinge. I am over it. Over it. This next prompt, this is one that men are more guilty of. I don't know if women are answering this prompt like that, but I sure as hell know guys are. I am overly competitive about everything. Really? Fellas, I don't think you understand. Every single dude is answering this prompt the exact same way. Don't be like other guys. Make yourself stand out. Really dig deep and think about something that you're actually competitive about. Are you competitive about swimming? Do you like to play pool? I know a ton of guys who are very competitive about playing pool. And you know what's funny? None of them say I'm overly competitive about playing pool. You should put that in there. Boom. Now you have an idea. Let's move on. So this one, again, sorry fellas, gotta come at you for a second. Y'all need to stop answering this prompt this way. I'm so tired of it. There's a prompt that says, bet you can't. And then all of y'all like to say, keep up with my sarcasm. I swear to God, if I see one more mention of how you are sarcastic or that your love language is sarcasm, by the way, isn't a love language, I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind. You know what I hate? People who say that they're sarcastic end up having the worst sarcasm I've ever heard. I'm sorry, fellas, but most of the time your sarcasm is utter shit. Stop trying to say that you're hilarious or that you're this sarcastic person. You do realize that being sarcastic isn't really a good thing to be proud of. Sarcasm isn't really nice. So when you market yourself as being sarcastic, you aren't going to make a good impression on people because people are gonna think that you're always gonna act like a dick and you're gonna use sarcasm as an excuse for it. That's really irritating. I 
I really encourage you to stop saying that you are sarcastic because every single dude on this planet is talking about how sarcastic they are. I want you to be aware that all of y'all are doing it and it needs to stop and I'm encouraging you to change your prompt answer to something else and for you to make yourself stand out a little bit more. Yeah! I bet all the dudes watching this have been personally victimized by this comment. Let's go on to the next one. This one is the worst. I know a ton of dudes answer this one the exact same way. I'm sure there are females who have answered this prompt the exact same way, but God, I see it on every single guy's profile on Dude Hinge in San Francisco and it drives me crazy. Here are the two prompts that people answer the same. Most spontaneous thing I've ever done. Biggest risk that I've ever taken. Booked a plane ticket to Europe or Southeast Asia and spent two to three months backpacking there or I quit my job to travel. Apparently every single dude in San Francisco has quit their job to travel or has spontaneously booked a plane ticket to go travel to some country, mostly Europe or Southeast Asia and they do it for like two to three months and they don't come back and then they realize, oh look, I have to go find a job again. Guys, come on, that's not unique. You can be better than that. I don't care if that really is the most spontaneous thing you've ever done. Did you know that everyone else has done that? Maybe it's time that you reevaluate what you wanna put on your profile because the point is to stand out, not be the exact same person. You are not original when you say that you quit your job to travel or that you backpacked Southeast Asia or Europe for two to three months. It's boring. <laughs> okay, both are guilty of this one. But any mention of The Office, Seinfeld, Friends, or Parks and Rec? <sighs> I cannot. I'm not saying these are bad shows. I love Friends. I've actually never seen The Office or Parks and Rec. I know, I know, y'all are gonna come for me mad hard in the comments with that one. I'm just so tired of people talking about it. Everyone is talking about it on a dating app. The purpose is for you to talk about different things. When you talk about how much you love The Office or Friends, cool, so is everybody else. The point is to make yourself stand out. Talk about another cool TV show that no one really talks about on dating apps. Talk about Big Brother. I feel like nobody talks about Big Brother. I love Big Brother. I'm so happy that All Stars is happening this season, by the way. I'm just saying, like, there are so many other cool shows out there that you can talk about on a dating app. But honestly, those four are so overdone and it's a Officially become basic to talk okay. about. And the last one, I have saved the best, aka really the worst one for last. The worst one of them all. There are two different prompts that both men and women use. Here we go. Let's debate this topic. My most controversial opinion. Roll the overdramatic editing. <laughs> I swear to God, if I see one more profile that talks about pineapple being on pizza or how pineapple doesn't belong on pizza, I'm gonna lose my f***ing mind. Pineapple on pizza is not a personality trait. I repeat, pineapple being on pizza is not a personality trait. <gasps> Oh, and to answer your question, by the way, the answer is no, and the only reason I'm saying no is because I think pineapple is f***ing disgusting. Come at me in the comments, bro! And then to just throw in two common pictures, unfortunately this one is kind of gonna attack the dudes because I don't really know what kind of pictures women post these days on Hinge. One picture that I am tired of dudes seeing is them posting pictures of them and their niece or nephew and saying it's not their kid. The reason that makes me mad about this is A, every single dude does this and let me tell you, this is actually a really terrible idea because you are exploiting that child and you are exposing that child out to other people in the world. It is so inappropriate and dangerous for you to be posting pictures of you and your niece and nephew. If I had a child and my brother, who is also single by the way and older than me, posted a picture of my kid to market himself on his dating app, I would kill him. You should really ask your brother or sister if it's okay for you to use their picture, and if you feel like you really need to post a picture of you and a kid, blur their face out. And for those who are single parents, listen, I know it's hard because your kids are your world, I get that. 
I think it's okay to mention that you have kids, but I really, really advise you to not post pictures of you and your kids on your dating app because again, it's also really inappropriate just for the exploitation reasons. I understand you're doing it to weed out people who don't want to be potentially a step parent and you want people to be accepting of your kids. I get that. But for now, just mention that you have kids and then show them pictures on your first or second date. That is just going to be so much more appropriate. And then the last bonus basic thing that I see from dudes, and I know y'all know what I'm about to say. It is the f fish picture. Oh, mm, okay, look. I'm sorry, fellas. Why do all of y'all do this? Why, why? Nobody wants to see a dead animal. Nobody. I don't care if you're a hunter or a fisher. I would rather you just mention that you hunt or fish, but I don't wanna see pictures of dead animals on your dating profile. I get that you're doing this to probably weed out the ones who don't share the same hobby as you, but you have to understand, your hobby involves killing an animal. And I know I'm gonna sound like a crazy vegetarian by saying that, and I get why you're trying to showcase a hobby of yours, but maybe just don't post the fish. Maybe show a picture of you with the fish pole, but without the dead animal. We can all do without that. Now it's up to you. Which one of these is the worst for you that you see on Hinge? So if there's something that I missed and you feel that is totally basic AF on Hinge, please comment down below and let me know what that is. And if you liked this video and you felt like you could relate to it, or maybe you got personally attacked by this, you probably won't want to give it a thumbs up. But if you felt like you could relate to it because you're tired of seeing this too, do give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.